That's why you're you, Tom. You got the photography lady sorted out. Well, I want you to have one of those big lobby cards out front, you know? Yeah. They got, like, Bob Barker, and they got the yeah. people from the soaps that are here. Yeah. <laughs> they have uh, whoever used to host this show. They got his picture still. Oh, yeah, there, he's so still there. get one of you. That's a great idea. That's a great idea, CBS. Yes. Picture of me outside. Come on. Oh, she's still taking pictures. Let's, yeah. pre let's pretend we're just talking. <laughs> I made, oh, yeah, that, I, I, I made that point where they catch you like, yeah. like that. That's <laughs> Can you please get a good photograph of Yeah, yeah, well, well, just do one quickly. <laughs> All right, that's enough. How about this one? Just a... <laughs> Hey, hey, wait, wait. Did no, you just, I'm you just, sorry. You I, was, just, you I just, just had a moment there. Yeah, yeah, what the hell, man? I just, Is that real? That I was lost a real... my place on the food chain for a second. No, yeah, yeah. you're all right. I'm all right. I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, I see you got the uh, the Doctor Who thing there. Yeah, dude, that's the TARDIS right there. It's uh, bigger on the inside. All right. Now, when I was, when I was, uh, when I, when we first got to UHF television in the United States, mm. Channel 20, Channel 44. Up a lot the, of people right now are understanding what well, you're talking know, about, John. But anyway, what happened was that they had no programming for those new channels, and so they always said, we're we're going to bring Doctor Who over from the United Kingdom, from England. And so you know what? Doctor Who is the Star Trek of England. Yes, that's true. No, it's ways. not. It's nothing like Star Trek but at all. Hell, it's nothing I'm like Star to Trek at all. With you. I was doing the yes It was I ridiculous. No, You're no. mocking me. You You're to, mocking me. You need me. to deconstruct this whole thing. It was nothing like Star little, Trek. A little bit like Star Trek. Uh, no, not yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. A little no, bit. No. Yeah. yeah. No. You had, yeah. you, you had like some guy with a big, huge red afro running around with a big scarf on, going in and out of a phone booth. He's, he's William Shatner of England. All right, I don't get he it. He is. And then you'd cut to these big salt and pepper shakers with English accents. It would say, we are going to destroy you, doctor. No, 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 no. no. We never understood it. We couldn't figure it out. It was, it was, a, it was a mystery to us. Although, uh, the Cloud Atlas uh, then, Tom. That's uh, quite the movie. <laughs> You got Doctor Who in that movie? Yeah. He's turning on you, Jeff. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen now. Exterminate, exterminate. Yeah. He scared the living daylights out of my granddaughter. Really? Yes, Why? Did. What'd he do? Well, I tape your show and I deconstruct it and I examine it. I talk about it with my, <laughs> with my show business friends. And we, we heard the voice of Morgan Freeman coming out of the oh, TV yeah, once. Yeah, yeah. And she came into where we were watching it, took one look at that, doing yeah. Morgan Freeman. Do it. Well, I certainly will, Tom Hanks. <laughs> That's a talented skeleton. That is a talented skeleton. This, this little 20 year old girl went berserk. 20 year old? Oh, no, sorry, 20 month old. Yeah, I was going to say you. Yeah, 20 year old girl. Ooh. You know, I did a show, I did a one man show in Akron, Ohio about 20 years ago. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You ever been to Cleveland, Ohio? I, I used to work in Cleveland. Yeah, how'd you get there? I took a steam train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There, you go. yeah. there you go. There you go. Yeah. So, kept the window open. You want to talk about the damn movie or? Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 you well, okay. Well, before the movie, then your mustache. What, what's going uh, on? This is for another role. Because you, you, I, you I, got I, another movie. I'm piling up one after another. Congratulations, man. La <laughs> Thank you very That's much. That's great. You, La you play a guy with a mustache. I do. Last last week. Last week. <laughs> oh yeah. Last week. Day, last Wednesday, uh, we premiered Cloud Atlas at Grauman's Theater, just up around the corner. I know where it is. And then on Friday, uh, we shot a scene that was recreating the uh, the premiere of Mary Poppins, in which I play Walt Disney in that film. So the the mustache is for playing Walt. You Disney. play Walt Disney? I do indeed. I Does can't draw a lick, but I play Walt Disney. That's that's no way. Wait, wait, wait. What? You haven't seen it yet? He could be crap as Walt Disney. Are you any good as Walt Disney? Well, we've only shot for one day because well, today is Monday, right, October so, 29th. So I haven't, man, we haven't you, seen the day. You know this show better than I know this <laughs> show, Tom <laughs> Max. Like, I can't you, keep up. We deconstruct it every morning. Yeah. We have a big powwow. And but you said you tape it, and that's uh, Well, uh, I mean, elite. DVR, that means what I mean. You know, I set my DVR on. Right, right. So you I, don't I have the kids come in and set the DVR for me. Because I always think you're on channel either 20 or channel 44. <laughs> and you're not. Channel 44 is the Korean channel, Tom. <laughs> Down here, up in San Francisco, it's, it's the Craig Ferguson channel. Oh, you're right on the edge there. You're right on the edge. Try to deconstruct. Oh, no, no, you're right on the edge. Now, now you're, see that you, it goes from deconstruct to Friday. with me right there. Oh, no. Tom. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Help me out. Yeah, Tom Hanks has his finger on the pulse of technology. Yeah. 
you know, I, 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 I speak with one, I have a Scottish accent in one, one of the roles. Uh oh I play a Scottish, uh-oh. Yeah. Because we don't have enough fake Scottish accents on this show. Hey, yeah. what the oh, hell? God. Come on now. Jeez. My accent is 100% genuine. Oh, I Shrek Cheeky Monkey. No, That's I, fake. We can, we can teach your entire audience how to speak in a Scottish accent with just two words. Okay. Two words. This is what we learned at the Great Lakes Theater Festival in Cleveland, Ohio. How'd you, how, how'd you get that? Well, we, I took a steam right, locomotive. Right, right. <laughs> All right, fair uh, enough. Because we, we did a production called What Every Woman Knows, which is a great Scottish uh, comedy from a long time ago. Grew up and here's that. Anybody can do it. All you have to do is say, audience, join me. Join me in saying, uh -huh. say silver. Silver. Plate. Plate. So, so put them all together. Silver plate. Silver plate. Uh, we're, here, we're in Edinburgh. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. Look at Scots. Silver plate. Silver. But when would you have the opportunity to say <laughs> silver plate? And also, I don't say it like that. I say it like this. Silver plate. Oh. Ah. I put a bit of a question in there. Silver plate. Silver plate. Yeah, because I'm the detective. Well, yeah, it's always... <laughs> in that play, I go, you say silver plate, and I go, silver plate? It's the answer to every question that anybody asks you in Scotland. <laughs> How do you like your haggis? On the silver plate. <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> But well, that's the trick. That's, that's pretty trick. funny. Yeah, you know, no, that's good. Everybody with Scottish accent. Silver plate. Now, it, Tom, I know that you're like a fantastic actor and everything, but that I got a You know. <laughs> That, honestly, Tom, the silver plate thing, is, it, it's the, nobody in Scotland says silver plate anymore. We say DVR. DVR. DV. That's a little bit, getting you, a little bit in the end. it is a little. Do you know what you put in a DVR? A silver plate. Silver plate. Yeah. You bet, we better talk about the movie quickly. All right, uh, all right, so the movie then. It's a huge movie, and yeah. I'm very proud of it. And it's the Wachowskis and Tom Tickford. Oh, they're great. They are magnificent. It's, a, it's an epic beyond epics. And Tom I, Tickford, Tom Tickford, uh, Run Lola Run. Run Lola Run. That's a great movie. No, no, they're fabulous yeah. film. I had a great time doing it. And it's huge. All I can say, it's huge. More, it's like, it's like a very, it's like more money, more, more money, what? More movie for more your money? money? I'm trying to figure it out. There's, there's, so if, if more you... movie for your money, that's what it is. So, like, there's, uh, the, does it have a car chase? Uh, yes. Explosions? Old Mini. Keep going. Love what? interest? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Freed slaves? Yep. Really? Yeah, you betcha. I'm you betcha. there, man. Fabricants? Got... Yeah. It has everything a movie needs. It's got, actually, that's exactly how they're selling it. Everything that there a movie needs? nothing that has ever, robot monsters? Got them. <laughs> have you really got robot monsters? No, got you got got robot monsters. Pirate ships? Pirate ships. We've got them all. Is robot that... pirate monsters. They don't have those. But, if you just wait, the scene right after the pirate ship, you know what it is? What? Robot monsters. So all you got to do is wait. And it's so there's something for everyone. I Halle Berry, level. Halle Berry plays kind of like a... She's very attractive. She's very nice, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, so what are you doing with it? You're playing Walt Disney with the mustache. Yeah, does, uh, does your wife, your wife like the mustache? No, for she hates it. Hates it all. Really? Uh, facial, you know, you have facial hair in some movies, and she goes, really? So you don't get to make out with your wife until you the mustache comes off? I've got to pin her down. In which I have to confess, she succumbs. Ah. <laughs> so it's a bit of the Rhett Butler Fifty Shades of Grey thing going on when you get out of this stuff. I haven't read that. I haven't I read it either, but I hear I read little bits of it actually. It's got the sexiest title you've ever heard. Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I know, what really. Yeah. It's like, but what you know, it's like the story of a guy who used Grecian Formula 16 or something. <laughs> Fifty yeah. Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't understand what that means. Can't wait to read whatever the next ones are going to be. Well, you know, it was fan fiction. What it was, it was like the Twilight movie fan fiction, and then they turned it into a real book. They just changed the names. You know what fan fiction is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. write stuff, goofy stuff, like Spock and Kirk fall in love, that kind of thing. That's a great idea. I know, yeah. yeah. Been around for a long is that time. you that writes that blog? Oh, uh, no. Yeah, it is, yeah. No, because I'm much a bigger Doctor Who fan. Ah. <laughs> On Doctor I Who. I know, and it's just because I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't I, understand it. I think you'd get in it. The, in the old days, they would bring the. In the old days. Uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> they would show your TV shows from England that didn't make any sense the like way Dout they looked. Like Nabby. Doubt Nabby. Because, no, Doubt Nabby is a magnificent First show. First season's great. No, it's great. Shut up. No, it's come the greatest show I've ever Strudel. It's the greatest show I've ever seen. No! Don't the first me. season of Downton Abbey was great. The, the, the second season, uh, the, and now it's Days of Our Lives in costume. <laughs>
You know, can I ask a question? Why do you people from the United Kingdom start hating everything that comes out of the United Kingdom after a while? It's what we you do. Hate, it's I know, what I know. We do. The only person, the only thing to have survived all these years of your popular culture is the James Bond thing. That's the only thing you still love. That's yeah, the I, only, I, no, no, I, I love James Bond. Come on, there you yeah. go. There you go, yeah. see? You know, you'd, you'd do a pretty good James Bond. You could well, I James do? Bond. Yeah, you'd be Wait. good. You, you could be James Bond. Oh, uh, no, I only, this is the only, I only want to play the bad guy because I, I just want to say one line oh. to James Bond. All right, let me, you ready? ready? All right. Stroke ready? this, stroke this. Oh, that's all right. All right. <laughs> this is what I would say. Right. But I, I got to be the villain. Well, I'll be Bond then, all right? Okay, you'll be Bond. Right, uh, do you, uh, <clears throat> what's your pre name? Pretend you're, uh, I am, uh, um, I, let's come up with a good name. Let's, um, I am um, uh, uh, a, a thorax. Uh, a thorax, I'm, you're thorax. I'm okay. thorax. Show, sure, finally at last. Well, you have to be tied up to the chair. All right. There you go. Ready? All right. Show, sure, thorax. You expect me to talk. Before I kill you, Mr. Bond, perhaps you'd like a tour of my installation. Notice, Mr. Bond, the ventilator shafts, wide enough for a man to crawl through. <laughs> Unfortunately, you will not have that opportunity, Mr. Bond. Notice my man, Ping Ping, standing... <laughs> Tom, Tom, we've already gone a little sorry, too close to that kind of thing, you know? All right, I'm just saying. But... Notice my, my man, William, <laughs> standing next to a huge red button. That wind push will start an unstoppable self-destruct mechanism that will destroy everything I have built here. It is a good thing you are tied up and will not be able to press that red self-destruct button, Mr. Bond. Can I ask you one thing, Thorax? Of course, James. You, <laughs> you said you were only going to say one thing, but you've said quite a lot of things. There is a reason for this, Mr. Bond. Yes, and uh, are you going to share that reason with us in, or not? In the short, the short time we've been working on this film, you've had sex with three of your co-stars. <laughs> I have been living on this abandoned island, building this facility for the last 17 years. I've had not been laid in 17 years. <laughs> and there you have it. See, now, wouldn't that not... Pretty good. I'll do uh, that. Pretty good. We should take a break. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Tom. Right. Thanks, everybody. Crazy. Now, well, you know, I was told by your staff to never look at the audience when I'm sitting in this chair. Really? Yeah, because the camera is over there, and if I look at the audience, it like throws the, the throws everything off skew. So let me get this straight. I a have a staff, and b they give they give they give notes to Tom Hanks. Well, I they, love that. They didn't refer to you as when you go out and talk to that guy. Well, try right, to right, look right. at. <laughs> well, let's mess with it. But let's both talk this way. <laughs> You know, we met once before, Craig. Yes, when was that? You mean before the commercial break? No, 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 no long right. ago. Long ago. Didn't you host the BAFTAs at one point? Yeah, I, I did. Think yeah, I saw yeah. you there. At yeah, the yeah, I remember that, yeah. Remember when uh, I used to get invited to the BAFTAs and every year I'd go and lose an award to some English guy? Yeah. Because they're called the BAFTAs? Yeah, and that's the British Academy of film and television arts. Right. And you, Tom, are an American. That's right. And that's what so they guess like. guess what? I never win. Well, you're American, Tom. They have to give themselves awards. And then they go to the Oscars and they win all of them, too. You know who won? That's true. They do. You know who won the year that I was at the Baptist? Who? Big red-haired guy who played Doctor Who. No way! No now, way. What was that actor's name, do you recall? Tom Baker. He's actually oh, a fine actor. Yeah, He's fine. a very, very good actor. Oh, they're all probably really good. Yeah, yeah. They're but good. remember the days when, when uh, on English television, on the BBC, mm. on the inside, it would be on videotape? And as soon as anybody went outside, it was on film? That's true, because they couldn't light videotape outside. Was that what it was? Yeah, so the, the, it was the early days of videotapes. So they only knew how to light film outside. And then there was the unions who said, well, outside you've got to use film. And inside you can use the videotape. Well, it made, <laughs> uh, it made absolutely no sense to us whatsoever. No, it didn't make any sense to us watching it either, but we were just grateful to be warm. Oh. <laughs> And watching one of the two and a half TV channels you have. Oh, now it's all, it's all changed now, though. It's like, it's like here, they've yeah, got yeah, everything over there now. now. Yeah. No. You can watch kickboxing from kick the Philippines and things like that. You like kickboxing? That's one of my favorite Yeah, shows. I like it, too. I gotta say. From I... the Philippines. 
I don't care oh. about it from Indochina. But <laughs> no, the Philippines, really? there's, just, there's just something about it. You're very picky about your kickbox. Well, let me tell you. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh, listen, we're out of time. Uh, can I... Uh, we are? Jeez, that went fast. Well, what do you got? Uh, well, we can keep going if you want. Uh, no, I don't care. I don't care. No, no. No, no, no we can stay. The staff doesn't care either. They, no. Uh, they uh, my right secretariat. You want to ride the horse? No, 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 no. You no. want to ride no, the horse? No, no, no. Have you ridden the horse? I, I, tr I tried it once, but it was uh, it was an older intern then in the back end. I think. I was going to say, are they they are unpaid interns in the horse, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll give I'll give. What, uh, what do you what do you think, Secretary? Are you up for it? Yeah. All right. All right, then. Yeah. Come on out. We'll see if you can make the exit riding on the horse. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> All right. Don't embarrass me. This is Tom. Crikey. Thanks. All right. All right, you guys ready? I mean, are you ready, well, Secretary? Should I actually, should I actually get on this? Yeah, year? I think you can give it a shot. Seriously? Yeah, yeah come on. Oh, I don't know. I, I'll go around this side. And get... All right. Yeah. All right. Can you bring around? Yeah. All right. I'm not. All right. I'll just go like yeah. this. Side. <laughs>